This is a frozen pond. Let's do it. in a second but um, I checked over close to shore and I got four inches of ice over there it's only gonna get better the further I go out I believe so I'm gonna drill another hole we're gonna test it out right here and then we'll figure out which way we're running don't know this pond never been here before so I'm just gonna try to um, fish what I see and we'll talk about that in a minute too Five and a half inches, you're golden. All right, the plan is this. I don't know this water, so, but I know there's fish in here. I've talked to a couple of locals. They didn't really give me any good spot ideas, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop the sonar in one. I've drilled four holes down a line where I can see rock um, coming off of the edge here, coming under the structure. So I know I have at least one um, transition. I'm gonna fish that. I'm gonna drop my little dirt cheap jaw jacker um, in first while I'm getting on my other line I'm going to drop it at the far end then I'm going to start uh, sonar in and see what kind of depth and bottom structure I'm looking at I'm trying to get my other camera set up here and this is going to be my main fishing rod today I've got a tiny little 164 ounce tungsten on there and a couple of spikes and this guy was getting hits while I was trying to set up my other camera so Pay attention to it a second. It's getting cold. Okay. Drilled over here, I'm in 18 feet of water. I got rocks underneath it. 17 foot, three inches. Same depth. Still a rocky bottom. Let's see where my dead stick is here. Without setting it off. Go a little deeper than it was. One of the troubles with this pond is they don't allow boats of any kind out on it. So no one has marked it with Navionics. So I have no idea what it looks like underneath here. But I can read the shore. And so this is all nice and stable. I got a point way out there, but I'm not very confident in the ice out there, so I'm not gonna do it. I love to ice fish, but I don't like drowning. I think, I've never done it, but I don't think I like it. So I'm just gonna operate on the idea that I don't like it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some holes in a little closer to shore. Um, basically, I'm just gonna make a straight line from here and see, see what, what, what is under there. That's the plan. I'll get back. <clears throat> no, not yet. I'm, I've never been out here before, so I'm trying to figure out the lake. So the sun is now passed below the hills there, which means I've probably got 30 more minutes or so of daylight. So chasing really isn't an option. Like the smart move would be to work my way towards that point right there and see what the bottom and see if I can find a transition but I don't have time for that so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a jigging spoon and I'm um, probably not even going to put any bait on it at the moment. I'm going to put on a jigging spoon and see if I can't make a whole bunch of noise and attract a predator in here. That's my plan. Change my mind. I am going to put bait on it. It's kind of silly to have bait and not use it. Think about the best case scenario is I can call a trout in. I'm going to use one of these nasty things for that. And a big one too. Not even gonna mess around. Okay. So my tactic here is laying on the bottom. I'm gonna make lots of racket. Big sharp jerks. Let him fall all the way to the bottom. It's a rattle spoon. So it's gonna make racket when it hits. It's gonna make racket as it moves. It's gonna look super erratic in the water. Sort of the same process you'd use for lake trout or something to that effect. All right, I've made racket. Now I'm going to bring it up off the bottom a little bit. Do some jigging. Let it sit. Do some more. Go to the bottom and repeat. Just got a bite. Oh, missed him. Hmm. So I don't have a fish. The tactic worked. Dropping and banging. I don't know what it called in. It definitely called something because there was nothing under this hole. For all I know, it could have took my bait just now on that big bite. Just got to be patient and work it. Let's see my bait. It's still there. So it was little, would be my guess. I don't know, it felt like a pretty good tug though. Just gonna leave it on the bottom for a second. It's another tactic that's worked in the past is if you get something taking nips at it, you can drop it on the bottom, kind of force it to suck it up. You got a better chance of hook setting them. Just don't leave it too long because little bluegill or something will just sit there and eat your bait right off and you'll never hook them. Oh, that was it. Hooked up. Hooked up. I don't know with what. Oh, decent sized little fish. Oh, did you see that? Did you see it? Oh. Oh well, back down. Enough being sad. I'm not even entirely sure what that was. I think it was a trout, but it had a weird mouth. I'll have to go back and look at the video. Let's see. Tactic works, people. Almost looked like a catfish. I don't think it was. I don't know. I could sit here and speculate all day. What I know is it was in the water. So it's clearly some form of aquatic species. I just missed another one. I'm setting the hook like I've got a dang bait caster out here. I don't know what I'm doing. You know what that does tell me though? 
I'm gonna fish this little spot for just a second. So I know there was a fish down there. If I don't get a bite in the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna go pull that auto setter line off of there and get rid of the waxy and put on a night crawler. There's lots of tricks to fishing, folks. Lots of them. And I think it would take a lifetime to learn them all. But one thing my dad taught me is if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And how I translate that to this is I've gotten my first bite of the day on a night crawler. What should I do? I should switch to night crawler over there on my set line, right? Absolutely. That is what I am going to do. After I try to hook this fish, of course. Yep, we're going to do that right now. I may have accidentally just caught a fish, guys. Easy, easy, and I'll let you go. So not a huge one? <laughs> Slippery little fella. Quick picture. Oh, God. Back in the water. Alright, so that last fish was on this. And I hadn't even dropped it to the bottom yet. A little buckshot jig, white in color. Beautiful stuff. Get him baited up, get him dropped back down. I'm just kind of stopping along the water column here and Give it a couple of jigs. See if anything else wants to come along. All right, that's bottom. Whoop, hooked up again. With what appears to have been a rock. All right. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. That's embarrassing. There are rocks down at the bottom. That's what my sonar told me. So I think I grabbed the underside of one. I got all excited. So no matter what, <clears throat> you folks are going to get some great footage of my other camera. earlier video I asked for feedback from folks asking you know what I can do better one of those mm, one of those was to actually hook a fish when you're oh he's going up the column that's what it is he's hooked really was hooked <sighs> okay all right let's do that again so in an earlier video I asked for feedback on what I can do to make better content or content that you enjoy more. And Round a River wrote and said, I'm getting played with here. Stand by. Easy. 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 Wait, all trout are slippery. But cutthroat trout are stupid slippery. So, see that mark right there? 
the cutthroat. I do not know whether it's a Yellowstone or I gotta have my pliers. We'll talk later. We'll just stop. Fish. As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by the fish, this is definitely a cutthroat. <clears throat> I do not know, easy with your teeth, I do not know whether it's a Yellowstone or um, I think a Snake River Trout is the other one that's up here. I honestly do not know which one this is. I just know it's a cutthroat. I know I'm not gonna keep it, but I know I'm glad he let me catch him. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Don't sue me, Matthew McConaughey.